So I'm here today with my buddy Paul at the pop-up, and uh, Paul, tell me more about your business. What's the name of it, and when did you start it? Um, first, my name is Paul Lanzano. I'm the owner and creator of the Coffee Mobile. So by the name itself, Coffee Mobile, it's basically we're selling coffees in the street. Yeah. So yeah, we're trying to promote um, local beans, especially beans that are um, grown and roast here in Philippines. Nice. So yeah, that's one of our goal, which is to promote all those kinds of um, good coffees. Awesome. And also affordable. Then with the pop-up, um, it's basically promoting this um, classic culture. So as mm -hmm. you can see, uh, we're all surrounded with classic motorcycles. Yeah. So with that, um, Personally, those are my passion, or what do you say? Um, one of my, this is one of my dream. Sure, so sure. It's happening right now. I love it. So, what came first, the coffee idea or the pop-up idea? Um, it's actually the coffee idea because mm -hmm. I used to work in a big company, which is Starbucks, for seven years. So I've been working in, as a barista. Uh -huh. So with that, um, it also became my passion, which is to make coffee. Mm -hmm. And with the pop-up and with this idea, the Coffee Mobile, um, I'm able to promote um, good coffees mm -hmm. to local consumers. So yeah, this is what Coffee Mobile is all about. I get it. So have you been interested in motorcycle culture for a long time as well? Uh, as far as I can remember, yes. I've been really fascinated with the um, motorcycles, especially the classic ones. Mm -hmm. So. With that, I basically combine all the tools, which is coffee and uh, motorcycle. That's why um, Coffee Mobile is made with a uh, classic motorcycle as well. <laughs> I love that. So you literally have your business on your motorcycle. You yes. drive it to wherever you go. Where'd you come up with ideas? Very creative. Um, it originally came during the lockdown here in Cebu. Mm -hmm. So I started selling coffee in my neighbors. Mm -hmm. So with all the time that I have at home, so yeah, you know, when you're alone, you can create a lot of things with that. <laughs> sure, sure. I love that. So during the pandemic, instead of just kind of sitting home depressed, figuring out what to do, you decided to start your own business and exactly. a really creative one. Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> so were you the first one doing this this pop-up? Um, as, as I did my research before, mm -hmm. I think yes. So mm -hmm. probably to say I'm one of the founder of the Philippine Street Coffee Culture. Mm -hmm. So with that, um, I also help local or um, people that wants to create their own mobile coffee. Sure. So probably to say we've been growing with the community at least 50 carts. Wow. Yeah, all over Philippines. That's so with amazing. that, um, it's a win-win situation. So with my goal, as I've said earlier, to promote local coffee. Mm -hmm. So with those people that I help as well, I believe we can try more to sure. uh, promote more of the local coffees that we have. I love that. Now when I'm here, I also see that there's not just people drinking coffee, but yeah. a lot of local street food and other kinds of food. How did that happen? They just saw what you were doing or? Yes, um, same as the idea of the Coffee Mobile. So mm -hmm. we, they're all basically our friends. Sure. So yeah, we, 
with the concept of the pop-up. So instead of selling just coffee, so why not promote more talents? So yeah, we're been selling local um, food such as the quail egg, um, mm -hmm. the lumpia, mm -hmm. um, fried noodles, sisig. So it's like just like a domino effect. So <laughs> started with this card, and then it all. Um, shouted or created this kind of community that we didn't expect to grow. <laughs> sure, sure. So say there's somebody watching today and they say, I really want to be like Paul, I want to you know, start a business with coffee or food or something like this, what might you say to them? Um, for me, as a beginner, um, just stay humble, mm -hmm. then do everything with passion. So that's the main secret that I'm holding right now to um, establish or to create or to continue this kind of business which is really small but that small thing can create satisfaction with yourself without the pressure sure especially when you're in a employed or you're an employed people so yeah <laughs> very nice so you run the business by yourself or uh, with your wife I believe we run it with my wife so of course um, without my wife, maybe I cannot continue this one. <laughs> that's, that's a good answer. We'll make sure she hears that uh, <laughs> later. So, very good. So say that people want to try out your coffee, uh, where can they find out where you are? Uh, they can check my social media account. So okay. that's the Coffee Mobile um, in Instagram and Facebook. So we can, we basically post our current location there. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we can check us out anytime, anywhere. If uh, the, the post will be there. <laughs> Very good. So we'll make sure uh, if you're interested in trying out Paul's coffee. I've had it a few times and it's incredible. Some pretty cool motorcycles coming through over here. But we'll make sure and uh, post the Coffee Mobile's Facebook and Instagram uh, yes. below in the video. So make sure and check that out. So. Paul, thank you so much for taking the thank time so to, to uh, watch us, and we wish you and your wife much success in your business. Yeah, thank you so much for this opportunity. So okay. come check us out. <laughs> we will. Take care. Super awesome group here. It's really a lot of fun. A bunch of friends getting together and eating and making a living together. Really uh, great to see another part of Philippines culture I think a lot of people don't see. So I hope you guys enjoyed and always, always thank you for taking the time to listen. Take care.